All right. So in the previous uh, session, which we've talked about is how we can, how we going to do the, pro what is the process for migrating uh, data from a legacy system into SAP? And then we've talked about, okay, we have to extract data from the legacy system. Then we have to cleanse the data, make it in the same format SAP would expect. And in this session, we will be seeing together how we're going to upload this file into SAP. So it will become a master data just like this, just like what we have right here. So we're going to actually go start. We're going to start first in ECC, how we're going to migrate into ECC first. And then we're going to be moving forward to talk about how we're going to do the same thing in S4 HANA. Okay. So this is, this is the plan and uh, let's start to get started. So in, in S4, in ECC, to migrate, to migrate anything into the system, the easiest way we can create an LSMW. And this is exactly what you're going to see together. So to create an LSMW, you have to go to LSMWT code, LSMWT code. Okay, and the, then the system is going to ask you to create a project, a project, and an object. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to create. Uh, I'll just say, proj one, uh, and I'll say here proj two, um, proj. I'll say proj one, proj one, proj one. Just I want to keep it simple, something that I could remember. So, uh, proj one, proj one, um, proj one. Okay, and once you actually create your own project, this is something internally, something for you. So that means, okay, uh, or you say, you say it, for example, for example, CST1, that means the cost center. So that's what you, CST1 and CST1. Okay, this is something internal for you. So you remember, okay, this is the project that is responsible about creating the, the cost center migration. So I'll click here, create. And the system says, it doesn't exist. Say, okay, I understand. And you click, okay. And you say, create again. And the system is going to ask you some description. I'll say, same thing, CSD1, CSD1, CSD1. You can say anything, but for me, I'm just trying to keep it. You don't want to have a long name. You could have errors. You could have some errors. But now, just keep the name short and keep keep the name descriptive for yourself. Uh, okay, once you create this, okay, you click Create, then you, you put the information in the description, then you click Create again. Then you then you should be able to actually click on to um, the execution. Now, our job is to go through all these screens one by one until we create the program. So LSMW, technically, we go through a bunch of steps to record the transaction, meaning, okay, if you're intending to create a, a, a cost center, so you have to record how you're gonna create the cost center, and the system will actually learn from you to create a program. So the system will create a program for you based on your recording uh, based on you recording the, the, the transaction itself. So let's just go and see it instead of talking about it. So you click on execute first on the first one and you have to click into the change. You click into the change. Then you come here under what we call it batch in possession and you give any name you want. For example, I'll say CST1. This is my recording. I, I want to call it CST1. And you click here into the recording overview and you click into create recording and give the same name that you gave earlier, CST1 in my case, and now I'll give a description. For example, I'll say here, cost center recording, and you click enter. And the system is gonna ask you, how are you gonna create a cost center? You have to tell, what is the T code that we always use to create the cost center? So I'll go here, KS01, and I'll say, okay. Okay, to start recording, this is how we actually <coughs> record our transaction into the LSMW. Um, uh, first of all, we have to give the information for our control and area. So if, you, if you're not familiar with creating a cost center, just feel free to actually kind of review how the cost center has been created, configured, and, and so on and so forth, and how we create it. But usually we provide the cost center number here. And uh, then you just give the date. For example, here we're going to say uh, 01, 01, 1950. I want, I want this cost center to be from the beginning of 1950 until the end of... Uh, end of life, <laughs> uh, which is 12 December 31st, 999. And you click into the master data and you provide the name of the cost center. I'll say here, for example, cost center one and give a description. I'll say cost center as well. You can, you can just provide whatever name for now. This is a test. Uh, this is the test we're trying to teach the program how we, uh, how the program created. Uh, we can teach the system how cost center can be created. Just put my name here, Ahmed, 
uh, department I'll say here finance for instance and, and I'll say here uh, for the for the uh, for the category I'll say number one for the category and the hierarchy that we have is AHM1 as far as profit center um, I have profit center which is 7500 then I'll click save so this is how you actually create the uh, the cost center actually we are recording so we just created the recording of the cost center so in the next session i'll show you just like how we actually what we're going to do with this information and how can we move forward from there thank you